Hey guys, this is Bankai reporting live from the Nexus and today I'm bringing you uh, something quite different actually guys today we're talking um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare I had mentioned in a previous video my Call of Duty Warzone video that I would be checking out the full game and you know it was my intention to purchase the full game guys but that turned out to be way more complicated than I could have hoped and what I'm actually playing here is the what you call it they had basically Call of Duty Warzone had a um, like a free trial thing for the full game on um, you know which is basically available for players to test out the multiplayer I don't know if sales aren't doing that great compared to past titles or what but they're basically giving us a sample of the multiplayer of the full game and you know it was a really great experience guys first let me say that it was a really great experience you know while I consider myself a hardcore PvP type of gamer you know I'm not one of these guys who take gaming so seriously that I can't enjoy you know some of the more popular titles and Call of Duty actually have a very a very rich history with this game particularly Black Ops I think I've mentioned that before on this channel as well um, I have a really rich history with um, Black Ops Th that was one of the games that really helped me to fall in love with online gaming so you know over these past few weeks I've been kind of wanting to I guess you could say um, go back to my gaming roots so to speak you know a traditional shooter that simple and straightforward and it gets to the point you know as opposed to Fortnite and other games like these that they're really just not really my cup of tea and I think with um, Call of Duty Warzone or Call of, well, Call of Duty Modern Warfare in general you know I think it, it, it pretty much plays like Black Ops in a sense you know because I, I, I didn't fe it didn't feel foreign when I was trying to get into this game but back to the point of why I couldn't purchase this game guys it's um, it's kind of weird if you're a Sony PlayStation lover like myself and you don't happen to reside in USA or uh, Europe then you will know that a lot of features on on the platform are region locked right for instance I can't use my credit cards on PSN to purchase anything um, and you might think this issue is easy to solve like you might say okay well you know go to the supermarket or a, a local store and um, purchase them there well you see that gets tricky as well guys because some of these stores locally you know they take advantage of the fact that you know people in third world countries sometimes don't have the access um, to some of these products and what they do is triple or double the prices of some of these items and I have this thing guys I have this strange thing it's called principle you see uh, I just don't believe in forking over all that cash to these um, greedy fucking pigs who try to take advantage of situations like this and I mean one could argue that well you know the store needs to make its profit so on and so forth now I'm not an expert on any of this stuff so I won't try to uh, really completely damn them or you know bash them I, I, I'm not sure if they have to triple these prices or not to be honest I just know I'm not comfortable doing it and then you know the next option would be Amazon you might say well okay try Amazon and it's true Amazon is a pretty good website obviously but unfortunately guys uh, if you know anything about PSN then you know that PSN can be very unreliable and incompetent and just a total letdown really I mean the user interface is a complete mess and unfortunately that uh, poor <laughs> that you know that poor service spills over to the PlayStation vendor that resides on Amazon guys I mean you'll see tons of reviews on the PSN cards where people complain that either the, the vendor fails to verify them for some reason in other words the purchase cannot go through so you cannot get these PSN cards or you know the process is stuck in pending for weeks sometimes I think and even at the end of the process when you if, if the if the order goes through the people their codes don't work you know so basically that PlayStation vendor or whatever it is basically screws these people out of their money and you know it doesn't give them anything back I had actually tried 
this vendor before and it worked for me and I thought I was lucky, right? Because that's how I bought a few games. I, I bought a few games digitally. I can't remember what games they are now, but it worked for me at first, guys. And I thought, okay, maybe I'm, you know, maybe my luck isn't that terrible, but it really looks like I spoke too soon, guys. I, I really spoke too soon because, trust me, it really came back to me real hard. And right now I'm in a very precarious situation. My intention was to purchase the full game, you know, for Modern Warfare, obviously. Um, as I mentioned in my video about Warzone, that I would actually try and get the full game, but um, with this no, you know, I ended up purchasing a different game to start a different series instead, and I uh, actually purchased some new equipment to help deliver better content for you guys. You know, I might have a micro channel, but I still take what I'm doing very seriously, and you know, if it's five people watching these videos, I want to make sure five people feel like they encountered some content that was worth listening to and worth watching so um, I'm basically going to be working on that uh, content which is basically a walkthrough type uh, series and um, also I'll be putting up a review of Call of Duty Modern Warfare or more like a first impression as I didn't play the entire I didn't I don't own the game so I don't have like a you know a, a, a full experience of it to really give it a totally fair review but I'm pretty familiar with Call of Duty and you know I catch on quickly with these types of games so I think I'll have some good insight to provide and um, maybe something a little different from the usual opinion you know I, have, I naturally I just have this natural way of just having different opinions that seem to piss people off and convince them that I'm some kind of a colossal prick uh, and you know sometimes <laughs> sometimes that uh, quality of mine makes for some good entertainment so I guess uh, the blessing is in the curse guys but anyway I guess I'll uh, cut this video off here and um, so you can look out for that review video soon I may upload it sometime this week or I may wait on a new equipment to see if I can deliver the video even better the script is already I already started working on the script uh, but you know I may upload it this week or I might wait until next week once I have all the equipment and stuff and uh, so I guess I'll just wrap this video up now guys I hope you enjoyed uh, listening to me blabber about my third world issues for about eight minutes straight and until next time bang kai out